ready to go. Okay, guys. Yeah. See you. All right, see, see you later. When I come here the first time, like you see these huge mountains, they attract you like, wow, I want to go there. The plan is to link these seven summits with only ski transport. It will be something new for me. I'm just nervous to be fast enough for Kilian. It will be interesting for sure because he will do it without a car, like people are doing it with a car, or they are doing it over, <laughs> over the whole summer or the whole, like the whole week in one week. Hopefully, around 20 hours. But it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> Most people think about me as a runner, but I, I have never considered myself as a runner. I started running as a training for the winter. I, I grew up skiing, I grew up climbing, and running was just the thing to do in the summer when it's dry. It's cool to run when it's not snow, but when it's snow, there's no way that you will gonna run. It's worth to wake up early, huh? Yeah. Ah, cool. Beautiful, huh? So, come there. This Jura team. We will go down here. And then, like, all the flood, or like the plateaus. Then in front of us we saw Benjetin and behind you saw the big face, that's throw wall. <laughs> Long way to go. Yeah. Emily and I moved to Norway in, in January. We was missing a lot of the wilderness, to be alone in the mountains, to, to be exploring and to feel wild, to feel alone. It's possible to have a big garden. Like This is one of the reasons we moved here. The mountains here are wild. It's not many people. Like It's no lifts and it's no infrastructure, really. Moving here, the, the thing I most enjoy probably is this calm, this time of reflection when you go out. That is not tracks, that is not like a topo you need to follow. It's this time of reflection and this space of doing the mountains that is different and that I really enjoy. to find the conditions for a big thing like that. But you need 
need like to have some dry rock, you need to have good snow. So to have the conditions be okay everywhere, it's, it's pretty hard. We have the possibility to explore a, a huge playground. That's what I like. I has been racing for 15 years, but the final goal is not to race, it's to, to be able to move in the mountains quick. It's crazy today when we see the gear. With little things, we can do a lot of things. That's from the racing thing, huh? like many years waiting the boots and everything. It's with the obsession. I will take half a liter of water because it's three places where we can refill. So I think it will be enough and then food. I don't eat a lot normally in the mountains, but we will take maybe, I was thinking like four, four like sneakers and has been done 3,500 meters. You never record. Good. Yeah. I feel it. We're going up. The engine in up there. <laughs> Can you imagine that? When I start any project, I know that I have many, many chances to don't finish, but that's not a failure. That's an opportunity to, to go there again. What do you think of the conditions now? Pretty warm and pretty deep. It can be hard and also dangerous maybe, but... Yeah. I will see, maybe I, I continue, I will see how it is here. Thank you. Friends. Thank you, man. Good luck. See you in the evening. Yeah, see you. Enjoy the day, yeah? Uh, it's so, so, so hot. Crazy. School art to do in good snow, huh? Yeah! Hey, you, man. It's cool, huh? In two hours from powder to the jungle. Keep going? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, I will see how it is up in Tromlinstein. Linking these summits only by skis and running, it's cool, I think, just being out with the few things you can have, go for it. I like it to suffer. I really love it to, to be out many hours suffering.
so noise is now. <sighs> but it's so fun. Ale. stop here because it's too much things falling okay so now let's go down Yeah, cool day, yeah. Yeah. A bit warm. Yeah, it's important, I think, when conditions are not perfect. Just to say, like, mountain will stay always here, but not we. So it's always nice to be out and to, to move. What's the plan now? Tower, eat, and then just, I don't know, like, just to plan for tomorrow. Huh? Like... Are you serious? <laughs> no, but yeah, of course, like... Why, like some resting, of course, shower, food. Uh, tomorrow is another day, yeah? We don't live from the pasta. Sweet. <laughs> so what is cool about mountaineering is to fail. It's to, to go there and see that, no, you cannot because you are not ready or because the conditions aren't. You fail like 50% of the times. That means that you have the motivation for keeping going. Let's go. I think my big moment is always tomorrow. 